Hey guys, welcome to my first ever movie review. Today I'm going to be reviewing On the Basis of Sex, directed by Mimi Letter with Felicity Jones as the lead actress portraying Ruth Ginsburg. The movie itself had no issues in terms of forcing liberal feminism and all that kind of stuff into the movie. None of that um, felt forced at all. That's what I my only real main worry about the film before watching it was is if they were trying to force this agenda and it wasn't that at all so you, you don't have to worry about that um the movie itself is about this woman Ruth Ginsburg she goes to Harvard to practice law so she goes to law school does that for for a little while and then she transfers to Columbia which I'm not sure where that school is. Um, so she does that. And, you know, she's trying to become a lawyer and, you know, sort of make men and women equal in general. It doesn't matter where, since there's cert there were certain laws at the time that sort of discriminated on the basis of sex, right? Another the title of the movie. Um, and... It was, it was pretty believable, I would say, you know, given the fact that this takes place from the 1950s, or it starts in 1956, and then there's two time jumps all the way to 1959, and then from there it goes to 1970. So there's some time jumps. Not really, that itself didn't, um, it didn't really ruin the flow of the movie it didn't feel choppy or messy at all so it kind of showed her progress as a character and as a real life uh, person because the events of this movie did happen in real life but i'm not super knowledgeable on those events so i do apologize for that in advance um the central goal of the movie is she's trying to end discrimination for both genders. I thought, like I said at the beginning, I thought that this was going to be super hardcore fem forced feminism, and it wasn't at all, so that's really good. And it really did, in a very specific way, it was entertaining, it did educate me in in a way that I wasn't expecting and it did bring awareness on a pretty big issue or at least at the time it was a big issue and it, it still is now but it did it in such a way it talked about you know how there's discrimination between both men and women in general it did it very well. It didn't, you know, the, the writing and the dialogue between the characters was very well. I thought they were all written very well. None of the dialogue for me fell flat. There were a couple jokes throughout the film. Not really many. There's maybe two or three. There, it wasn't really forced or anything like that. I thought that they were fine. There wasn't really a problem with them. Um, and the, the, so you have the actors themselves, right? They all did a great job. I never felt like any of the performances fell flat. I thought everybody did their best with what they were given. So that gets a point for me. And the direction this movie takes, I think the director herself did a very good job. The pacing of the movie itself wasn't super fast or super slow. I thought it was good for the most part. I never really had any issues, you know, trying to, you know, comprehend, you know, what sort of, if what they're doing in the movie was, you know, going super fast or super slow. The time jumps didn't um, mess with that at all. So that was good. The story 
itself, it wasn't super complex. It was pretty, you know, straightforward from the get-go. It, But I think that's a good thing because, you know, they have, hey, we're going to talk about this issue. And and they did that. They, they told it in a very good way, I think. There was... As far as suspension ten- suspense and tension is concerned, it there there was some of that, but only really in the climax. You never really had any um, huge obstacles, really. I mean, because obviously it's the climax, so that's where the most tension is going to be whenever she's bringing this case to the court. Which that's that whole scene was really good. I thought that it was pretty well uh, filmed, you know, given the the good writing and everybody, you know, doing a good job, even the side characters. She has two kids in this movie and the they did a good job as well, given that they were kids and, you know, usually kid actors aren't very good, but they were good too. Um, the director, I think, created a, ca- a captivating conflict that was... This movie really, what's the word I'm looking for? <laughs> I'm, I'm not sure actually, so we're just going to skip over that. The Something else that I thought was pretty enjoyable about the movie was the, the musical score. I thought the soundtrack to this movie was, was pretty good. It didn't really, it didn't distract me at all. It was, you know, it was lighthearted on when it needed to be it was you know dramatic in certain scenes that required it so it never felt super like weird or all over the place or anything like that for example in aquaman when they go to the desert it a uh, pitbull song starts to play and it's it felt really out of place none of the music in this movie felt out of place at all so that gets a point for me because for me, music in a movie is always really important. And I think the music in this movie was pretty spot on for the most part. The cin- as far as the cinematography is concerned, there weren't really any super un- unique shots. I mean, then again, this is a a drama so you don't really expect to see super insane shots. But then again, there actually was one shot that I really liked where it's sort of like spinning around as a character is walking through this office area and it's one long continuous shot and I really liked it. But that's really it. I mean, for the, it was pretty, you know, I guess standard cinematography it wasn't insane but all the the sets and where they were filming and all that it really and the environments that they were trying to create felt really uh, natural none of it felt out of place or anything like that with you know the atmosphere or anything like that it was all really well done I think and the special effects there weren't really anything like that I mean this isn't an action movie or anything like that so I can't really say anything on that, but the costume and makeup in this movie was really well. I For the era that they were trying to portray, you know, the 1950s to the 1970s was, you know, everyone had outfits from that time, so it never really felt weird or out of place I guess like in um that new Robin Hood movie it's that movie is supposed to take place hundreds upon hundreds of years ago but they're all wearing like modern day clothes so it so the movie itself never had those issues so that's actually really good and I enjoyed that as well the editing for the most part was pretty good nothing ever felt um choppy the flow was was pretty consistent, I think. Um, transi- and the transitions between scenes never really took me out of the film. It never really took me out of the experience. 
which I think is also pretty important when you're making a movie. So, and one last thing, you know, like I said, the the dialogue in this film was was pretty well. None of it fell flat. None of it felt forced or what's the word I'm looking for? It never it was never bad. I actually really enjoyed the dialogue, you know, between the characters and how they were evolving throughout this story that was being portrayed to us. So, yeah, that is my uh my review for on the basis of sex. I would say my final verdict is a 8 out of 10. I thought this was a good film. You should definitely go see it if you have the chance. Typically, this isn't my type of film. You know, I'm more into action and suspense and horror and that kind of stuff. But since I wanted to start reviewing movies, I figured, hey, you know, this is a good place to start since I know the lead actress, Felicity Jones, from Rogue One, since I'm a huge Star Wars fan, as you can see, and uh, right here as well. So, yeah, I'd say I'd give this an 8 out of 10. This is definitely something you should go watch if you're if you want to be sort of educated i guess so yeah definitely go see this film you probably won't be disappointed since i can't speak for everybody but for myself i thought this was a good film and i think you need to go see it so thank you for tuning in and watching my first review ever i do apologize if i sound a little awkward or nervous i've never really uh, done this before so hopefully down the line this will go a whole lot easier for me so thank you for watching and i will see you next time thank you